sometime early, or late spring, early summer this year, we had a bunch of shows out there and I fell in love with it. I would love a reason to move to London for like a year to just do comedy out there. The, the audience- They have a so... Comedy Unleashed group there. Oh. Well, because the, com the comics in the UK have really come under assault and a lot of them have been canceled. And so there's a group in London- really? um, who Now, the, 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 who's this? Andrew Doyle. Andrew Doyle runs okay. Comedy Unleashed and he has that online character, Titania McGrath, who's a uh, satire of a woke feminist. And he wrote a book that, by Titania McGrath. And yeah, she's the worst of the woke feminists. Anyways, he started this group called Comedy Unleashed. And I went to one of just one of their shows so far in London. I actually read a piece that I wrote for my little two-year-old grandson who was trying all sorts of things on his head, pretending they were hats like old pieces of fish and uh -huh. so forth. And yeah, but anyways, if, if that when you go to the UK again, they're very much worth looking up Comedy Unleashed. I will right? definitely check yeah, them the, out. Yeah, I think the funniest UK comedians are now associated with Comedy Unleashed. And they have these fora in London that are designed to genuinely be open discourse events, as you can make a joke about any damn thing you want, and everyone who comes there knows that and appreciates it. I love it. that. Yeah, my... yeah, well, they're very, makes the shows very funny too, as well, you yeah, might imagine. Yeah, because everyone goes and they're on the same page. Let's just let's just have some fun. Yeah. I would love to do a streaming platform like that someday where, our, where creators can go on there and it's just, it's whatever kind of humor you want. They, same kind of setup as like a porn website. You go on there, you click 18 and you, you click 18 and up, right? You know what you're getting into. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Same with this website. You go on there, you realize you're gonna hear some crude shit. Right, well you should bloody the, well know that if you go to a comedy show. You, you would know, think, well, you would I mean listen, so. I've never had a problem at a live show, ever. I have never once had anybody have a stand mm -hmm. up and be like, mm -hmm. that was not okay to say. Oh Never. yeah, not and in once. Eh? Almost 13 years of doing comedy, not once. Oh, you're has that obviously happened. not pushing the envelope hard enough. Jordan Peterson said it first. <laughs> I love yeah, my, yeah. my new hour that I'm working on right now. It's so much edgier. It, it blows my mind. People chose this one thing to attach themselves onto, and I just, I, I just think it's. Oh weird well, it's gonna it's gonna things. redound to your credit, anyways, particularly because you didn't apologize. So all that's gonna happen, as far as I can tell, is that this will bring a lot more attention to your work, mm -hmm. and people will be thrilled about the fact that you didn't apologize. One of the things that I've noticed repeatedly, because I've gone through repeated attempts to cancel, uh -huh. me, is that it is can be quite an intense experience when it in the immediate aftermath of its occurrence, and that's somewhat off-putting and destabilizing because you don't exactly know how far out it's going to spread or what mm. the consequences would be. But if you didn't do anything wrong and you don't apologize, or maybe you make light of it in some creative way, then the probability that it will turn around and flip in your direction if you can tolerate the weight is extremely high. And I don't think that part of the reason I'm bringing this up is because I don't think that people who are in the throes of being canceled, understand this. Because mm -hmm. you could imagine historically, if an angry mob of your neighbors showed up on your doorstep with pitchforks and flames, and there was like 40 of them, it would probably be a good time to think, these people wouldn't have gone to all that time and effort in all likelihood had I not done something wrong, mm -hmm. right? But now you can whip up a Twitter mob in no time whatsoever, yes. at no, with no effort, at no cost to yourself and probably some benefit. And so your instinctual responses to being mobbed are wrong. Yeah, right? so, it, doesn't, it doesn't translate to the real world. Right, right, I just right. walked through two very packed airports and did nothing but take like 45 pictures. Right. Nothing but a positive response. You, right. you Have think, you had any negative responses? You said you had no negative responses to anything you've ever said so far at when you're actually show? on stage. Yeah, yeah. well never. what about out in the actual world? Not once, never once has somebody come up to me and said, hey, I didn't like the thing you said. Because that kind of social I don't know if you want to call it between a mixture of social awareness and accountability doesn't translate to the real world. People mm -hmm. know. It also takes past, a lot of gall to do that. Eh? Say, to come up yeah. to someone and say, you know that thing you said, even though you don't know who they are. Imagine you see a street performer, right? They're playing violin yeah. on a street corner. They've got their case out with cash, right? Say you hate violin. Violin right. drives you nuts. Maybe he's not even good at, at playing violin. What do you do? You keep walking, right? No sane, decent human being stops and goes, you're 
fucking awful to kill yourself. Right, right, what right, are you right, doing right. out here? You're making my life miserable until I just look a different direction. That's an insane thing to do. And most people know not to, to do that. But obviously the internet creates this, this, this is what I would believe to be false confidence. And, and believing that they're safe behind this imaginary source of social media, that they don't face any repercussions yeah. because their profile picture is an anime character. Yeah. And that everything's a private profile. There's no consequence That's to right. saying what they say. Yeah. There's no the consequence for leveling an accusation. Oh, yeah, it's really bad. Yeah.